changed it. Yeah, it used to be a button that just said live, oh like go God. live. That's so funny. There we go. Oh my God, that's so funny. Okay, so to see Chad. Oh yeah, can you pop it out and make it huge maybe? Yes. <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Oh no. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> just pop out all of, Ch oh here it is. Pop out Chad, big. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you make it? Light mode. Did you turn off emote only? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, babies. Hello, sunflower. We've just found out that uh, it turns out that the <coughs> iPad, that what's it called, like mobile streaming, has gotten an update, and now it looks different. So we couldn't figure out how to turn it, it on. It scared us. But it's but okay. I think we're good now. How do I turn off dark mode? So you have to go to the settings. Chat appearance. No, no, no. Uh, it's one. It's wherever it says like. Um, like mod mode or something. I know, I switched it out of mod mode. Chat filters, pause chat, chat appearance. No, it's not that. Okay, well, okay, let's switch back to mod settings. Yeah, you need it in non mod to turn off. Okay, so now mode. I'm switching to non mod. No, no. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh. You weren't listening. No. Oh, no. We won't be able to read it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hi, welcome to a very chaotic first time live. Readable colors, timestamp. Did you turn off readable colors? No, I turned it on. <laughs> oh, I must have got oh, I can make the words big. Well, hey. that's good. Well, okay, I think that's fine. Oh my I don't gosh, know why people again. think that dark mode is more readable, because it's really not. I don't know. It is more readable to other people. Yeah. Not but to me, me, it's not. I would never want to read a book that was like written in, hey, I'm not going to be able to... Yeah, that's the only place you're going to be able to do it. Nowhere else? I think we'll have to take turns. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, my hair looks good. Yeah, well, my hair looks good. Hello. Nice. Yeah, this is going well. Well, we can put it here, and I can change where the time lapse is. That's fine. That's true. Because this can be here. And that's probably... Take me on a day. I'm preserving a day. Is it going to stay there? Buy and hold the rings. Buy and buy and touch the rings. Can I put it here? God damn it. This is going to be the most chaotic. I told you. No, it's okay then. <laughs> then I'll quit on the time lapse. Hi, babies. Okay, sorry. Hello, friends. The egg is so charming. Thank you. The egg was painted by me, but the idea was Graham. Yeah, the idea was Graham's idea. See, what that's much thinking? better. Yeah. <clears throat> it's an egg. Nice. Just a little e. Listen, the white background, how do y'all read books? I have no idea. Okay, what I want is a time thing. Why What's it called? A nightbot? Thing? Every like 15 minutes to be like, oh, the yeah. goofs are making. Oh, I don't think we'll name the egg. I think we get too attached. Oh, yeah, no. He may get painted over at some point. Nightbot docks? No. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate Bing. I prefer sepia settings in reading. I'm learning so much about our children. Oh, you can see it tiny. Well, yeah. that's horrible. Well, yeah, it's really small. I just Googled googe. <laughs> okay, night bot. Anyway, these are my painting <clears throat> clothes. I feel like when we good. do stuff like oh this, we always have God. less viewers because obviously, like, the iPad is not... Well, yeah, I mean, we're having a fun time. That's more for fun. Here's the problem is we got shit to do today. And okay. most, probably tomorrow also, sorry. Every, let's do like 10 minutes. Take me on a day, I'm surprised with that. I don't know the words. Painting a Can y'all hear the fire going? I'm so cold. It's. True Sweet Peas love the iPad streams. Oh my God. <clears throat> no, if you know, you know. Sometimes you have to stream on the iPad. Remember that time I was supposed to do laundry on stream and the computer just stopped working? I don't know. It was the laptop. But we're out here for the gritty content. Thank you. The true fans. Okay, do you want to watch Chad and I'll paint first or do you want to paint first? Oh, I figured we were whatever you want to do. I'm in the middle of painting some red things. So if you want to, I'm going to scream. Oh, here we go. Paint. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to be Thanks for subscribing Gooch Where'd he go? Where'd he gooch Chooch There we go Nice 
I'm painting red right now. <clears throat> you know the strawberries? Yeah, well, because they look like shit. Yeah, but the oranges are also, like, patchy, but they look good. I feel like the oranges look terrible. They, what? Yes. I love them! You want them to be patchy? Yeah, like an orange! Now, this one up here looks He bad. looks like shit. This one's my favorite, though. He looks okay, but the reason he looks okay is because his color is light orange. But the rest of these two are too dark because they look comical next to this fan down here. <laughs> hey, I've been mixing up orange. Here's what happened. Morgan doesn't understand how to make orange, and that's not a crime, but I am So, I, when I was a kid, you know when you're a kid and you're learning about colors, and they're like, here's the three primary colors, <laughs> you mix these together, eventually you can get every other color, right? That's also not true, but go ahead. Anyway, and I was like, okay. So I take 50% of our red and 50% of our yellow, and Wrong. it does not make orange. But that's because you don't have pure yellow. It made, like, fry sauce color. Oh, my God. It was too light. Oh, my God. It was so chaotic. And Morgan's like, I'll just put more white in it. That'll make it more orange, as if that's not going to make it pink. And I was like, I'm in love with you. And it was cute, but it wasn't what we needed. So, hey, careful. Dad just bought us this ladder. We're, we, we're both, we both were splitting it. The cost of the ladder. This, we are gonna use a projector. I'm now realizing that we won't be able to do that on stream. Yeah, we will, yeah. Cause we need this outlet to plug in both the laptop and the projector. Oh, uh, cause the projector, oh, uh, you're right. Okay, so that'll be a later problem. For right now, we'll just be- Right. Them. Anyway, we still have to project. <laughs> We're putting another peach, another banana, and what did I say, a lemon? Can you, can you show them the god-awful banana you tried to make? No. You can't zoom in on him? No. There's a really good banana that someone tried like to... A, you can't see it. weathered hand. <laughs> someone tried to freehand because we couldn't get the projector that tall because we didn't have this I really... I feel like it's both we didn't have a really tall ladder. banana. I can draw a banana. You cannot and I love you and you're I so talented. I drew a good banana. But you cannot draw a banana. God forbid you try to draw a banana and scare our friends. Anyway, so we have to still project some stuff up tall, and then you can't see it, but, like, the side of the wall is a little blank. Not the side, but, like, the edge, the edge is kind of blank. So we need to project some, like, partial fruits <laughs> up there. Half fruits. But we got too tired of drawing, so we went, on, we went ahead and started painting. Well, it's exhausting. So. But it's going really well. Let me get out of the way. You can also, you can turn the little iPad, right? Yeah, I did a little bit. Oh, okay. Look over here. Look at the banana. Fruit. And one egg. Fruit and one egg. Lots of leaves. See how, like, the edge of it is all blank? Anyway, I'm going to add some more stuff. We took a negative pregnancy test this morning, which was annoying. Oh, we did. Boo to that. Yeah. It's like Canva in real life. It is. Egg is the fruit of a chicken. <gasps> so true. That's You're not true. wrong. I love that. Graham was like, yeah, people who, um, oh my gosh, thanks for subscribing. I didn't, it pops up up top for oh, me. Oh, up um, top. Graham was like, people who cross-stitch always say you have to have, like, one thing that's, like, fucked up. Yeah, like, wrong. And so she's like, y'all should put something on there that's not a fruit. Hey, oh my god, that scared me. Sorry. Where are you headed? Just getting my drink. Oh, I wish I had. It was silly of me. I told you. Oh, no. No, no, no. And so, Graham is brilliant. We asked her to be, if she wanted to be on stream, she said no. The other thing we're trying to do is, um, we're scared about the TikTok ban. We're not going to talk about it because it's too stressful. Yeah. But we keep trying to figure out how to make videos that are like, please be on our Instagram. Follow us other places, please. This is our job. Ha 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 ha. And, um,. We, I said that we should have asked Graham to like do a little dance and be like, this is our Graham. She's worried that we're not going to have a job if TikTok's banned. So please follow us on Instagram to make Graham happy. But we forgot to do it. Well, she but was doing a lot of manual labor. She was. Like She's so she funny. worked, these aren't, this isn't done, but she did most of these. We don't know what they are. What? The papayas? I think they're papayas, right? I don't know. It was bold of you to put them in the thing and then not... I definitely thought you knew what kind of fruit they were. No. I typed in fruit, <clears throat> and then I said, this is nice. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm very stressed. Um. <laughs> Anyone know what kind of fruit this is? Oh, I don't think it's... Is it guava? 
I don't it, no, people are saying it's a papaya. Oh good. Grand Papa's. But where mango. can you where can you get a papaya? No, I was like, like I've never had one. That is not a fucking mango. She did keep calling it mango. Which to be clear, to be fair, I mean, <clears throat> this color I think you could argue is mango. Well, that, no, and I've seen mango color. It's much brighter than It's that. much oranger. Much much yellower. Which is really. why I would say it isn't that, but I am saying you could argue that it is. Yeah, well, Graham could. She's old, so she gets away with some shit. Um, the only downside of uh, starting, not starting, of finally putting this mural up <coughs> is I'm seeing it with our thrifted couch and our thrifted rug. Oh, yeah, the rug looks like shit. And they don't, they don't look good together. Can you help me get this strawberry? Yeah, Actually, yeah, I just need help with this. Which way? This one? Yeah. Towards the strawberry. I can't have my little tunnel. Thank you. Are you going to close the door? I can hear the map. Okay. There you go. All right, I'm back. Um, yeah. Market of choice? I've only been to market of choice once, and it was in Eugene. We don't have one in Salem, I don't think. But it is very fancy. I think that's where I destroyed a bathroom once. You know what? Rotosaurus, there isn't a paint smell. <clears throat> I yeah, didn't think it about it. Nice. I didn't think about who you said it. I don't know if it's because they're all like sample size. Maybe you start getting the paint smell later. <laughs> but yeah, it hasn't smelled like paint at all. It is, I'm, I'm sniffing. I'm I think sniffing it's because it. we're using so little of it at a time, though. That's true. Like, because it, it's like painting, like, and it, it, it's all like um, house paint, it's not acrylics. But, like, I think that's part of it. Apparently my Walmart has papayas. Whoa. That's nice. Bonkers. Sipping my milk. Jabari. You're scaring me. I'm scared. I'm scared. What do you that. mean, sipping your milk? <clears throat> You're just drinking milk on a 10 p.m. afternoon, at an after work drink? A 10 p.m. afternoon work drink? <laughs> Not that. Oh, my so God. I'm in Oklahoma for context. Just a little after work milk. It's a cool 10 p.m. milk. Now, if you called it like a bedtime milk, I would be comfortable. Oh, uh, no. <clears throat> we are completely indoors. We don't have any windows. But it's not, um, yeah, it doesn't smell like paint at all. Yeah, no. But I do think it's because, like, when you're painting a whole wall... Sip, sip, when you're painting a whole wall, it's like the whole thing is wet. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> what about the wetness of, of the wall? Like you're, you're like, you're using a lot of paint at once. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And since we're not doing that, I think that's probably why. I totally drink plain milk, but only at work. Um, that is unhinged of you, and I love it for you. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm a social milk drinker. I'm a social milk drinker. I love our children. They have such different tastes from one another. They are so creepy. I love them. <coughs> I don't need any papaya. I ain't gonna pay for the milk. You're so right. Oh, I'm hearing that. Steal milk from your boss. Steal milk from your boss. Steal milk from your boss. Steal it from your boss. <laughs> Banana milk? Vanilk. What is going on over there? Strawberry. Thank you, Headlong Flight. Boss milk. Steal from your boss full stop. Thank so you. <clears throat> um, I might be a chemist, and if, they, if they're old, they might not smell at all because the flammable wall and stuff has evaporated. Now, we did get most of it from Habitat for Humanity. <laughs> oh, no. So, no, 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 that sounds good. They did have smell good additive at Lowe's that you can buy. Yes, did you guys know that you can buy something that makes your uh, paint smell like perfume now? Maybe they always have that and I've just never noticed. <coughs> My little crime is that we had fun lunch today. We did have fun. Well, here's the problem. You can't see it, and I don't want to turn the whole thing around. But our entire oh, kitchen. Like shit. Yeah, everything's our entire shit. kitchen, there's paint everywhere. Well, we have a lot of different colors of paint. Well, we needed a bunch of colors, yeah. <clears throat> so it's all sitting on our kitchen counter, because that's like the biggest flat surface that we have. What do you mean it's like Willy Wonka? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The snozberries taste like snozberries. That's what people keep saying. What? 
What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that you knew that. The when does he have fruit on the wall? It's the fruit wallpaper. It's as they're going into the factory, and then they can sniff the wallpaper and then lick it, and it tastes like the fruit. Which one is it? The original Willy Wonka. Oh, I've only seen that one once. Oh, well, watch it. It looks just like this. The only part I know of that one is uh, <laughs> none of it. <laughs> no, they sing the Imagination song, though, in that one. What? Yeah, they don't sing it in... Um, sing in... the Imagination song. Come with me, and you'll be yes. in a world of your imagination. Okay, yeah, my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, they don't have that on. I don't think so. On what? They don't have it in Traveling in the Chocolate Factory. Right? The, the wallpaper? No, I don't know. No, so. the imagination song. Oh, I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are so... How, do, how much? I'm not a, will, I'm not a Wonka scholar. <laughs> God. <laughs> You should be. Stop grilling me. A lot more child endangerment in the first one. Oh, it's bad, yeah. <clears throat> hey, have y'all seen the stuff about how in the original book? Oh my god. I won't talk about it for long because it's stressful, but it's like... It's very stressful. The Oompa Loompas, the it's, Oompa 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 it's racistly written. Yes. They're supposed to be a group of indigenous people from Africa. It's really bad. I saw a TikTok about it and I was like... Every non-binary person is assumed to be a Wonka scholar, but it's an unfair generalization. That is so true, Bestie. <laughs> You're right. Oh my gosh. That song was in a lullaby album Kenny Loggins made. Is it a real song? I thought it was just from that movie. What? No, it's definitely a real song. I mean, they song. do it on Glee, so it must be a real song. But Okay, so that is a bold thing to say. Yeah. I used to watch the original Willy Wonka movie every day. I've seen the original. I'm going to say, honestly, maybe once. Oh, it kind of fucks. <clears throat> it was on TV once. And I was like, why would they make this movie but ugly? And my parents were like, this movie came out first. And I was like, Johnny... What? It was one of my favorite movies Johnny Depp is not in this movie. And they were like, right, Gene Wilder is. And I was like... Gene Wilder's incredible. Why is movie. he blonde? Oh, I my hate God. It. He's not blonde. You don't know blonde is being blonde. <laughs> no, it's from the movie, I think, but it got popular because of the movie. Yeah. It's a good song. It's cute. Do y'all remember when the Hunger Games came out? And there's a song that's like really sad that, that they sing in the movie and they said, let's put a sick beat under this. Yeah. And we're gonna put it. It's the hanging tree. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to say it. Oh, we're gonna sorry. put it on the radio. <laughs> You're gonna what? I don't think they should have done that. That seems like a bold thing for them to do. <clears throat> you know? Where's the dark green? Oh, here it is. Yeah, why are you putting paint over there? That's not the paint location. That's not the paintcation. It is the paintcation. Wait, no, it's my turn to paint. Oh, you want to paint now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, do you want to get the top of that strawberry? Yeah, I can do the top. I was going to do the leaves next. I was going to do the strawberry leaves. Well, I did these two bottom ones, but I couldn't get to the top ones because people were in the way. Okay. Oh, Hello, it's your father. Let me put my shoes on. Hunger Games is good. I, there's a Hunger Games renaissance taking place, is what people keep saying. I've only seen them once. Not their cup song. Well, yeah. Morgan liked them okay. <clears throat> I didn't like the first one. I love the other ones, though. She wanted them to be hornier. They got hornier. In the they, other they do, yeah. They got hornier. Who's the one with like the crazy eyeliner who's like, they already tried to kill me once, and now I'm upset? Joanna? Yeah. Yeah. They're good. Oh, did they just get back on Netflix? That makes sense. We should watch them. I didn't realize that that had happened. The first <clears> one, <throat> I just had so many questions. And then Phoebe was like, well... The books are really good. The books explain it better, which is obviously what always happens. Yeah. That's what's going to happen when the Akatar show eventually comes out, I'm sure. Oh, definitely. Definitely. They're taking them off on the 30th. Oh, no. Boo. Hello, Heather. Hi, friends. They just came back, though? There were three or four massive dystopian series around. It was like, it went vampires, zombies, anti-capitalist apocalypse. Yeah. That's kind of what happened. Hi, Anne. That's Wahapa. That's what you missed on Glee. The books are really good. I have to blow my nose so bad. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm coming back over. I'm not abandoning you, friends. Hold on. You can keep talking. I'll read what you say. <clears throat> Golly. This is not my paintbrush. No? No. Mine's the one that's like at an angle. Oh my golly. D 
Did y'all read the, what are those ones that have like the abnegation people? In a death game resurgence? Yes. So true. What with Squid Game? Divergence. <laughs> Thank you. Hunger Games, Squid Games. I've never seen Battle Royale, but I feel like I should. Divergence. Divergent. You're right. I didn't read either of them. That is what it is. I read the first one. <clears throat> no, literally. Literally, Pigeon Pants. That's what I'm saying. It's unfortunate. I'm curious what the next thing's going to be, though. Oh, yeah. That's A, a Court of Thorns and Roses. <clears throat> yeah, it's fun. I think, yeah, I think fairies are really having a moment. Penlows, it's so fun. Fairies are having a moment. Also, uh... Nice. Yeah, I only read the first Divergent book. I only watched the first movie. Did you read Aragorn? Aragorn? That is a fantasy series about dragons. Okay. But then that's my question. I did read all... I read the first two Aragorn books, and then the last one is called Brisinger, and it starts with, like, the most violence I'd ever read in a book ever, and I could not get past it. <clears throat> It is the one with Shailene Woodley. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's fair. Um, my mom really liked those. My mom was also really into, what's the one? The Maze Runner? My mom got really into those. Is there four books? Is the third one Brisinger? Thanks. Thanks, Pigeon Pants. I don't think that I did. I did, however, read one of the Warrior books. One of them. And it was like number eight, and I got it in like a book swap. You're scaring me. No, no, no. And like it was like a like a white elephant gift swap, but it was books. And so it's the eighth Warriors book. That's fun. And I did not realize it was just about regular cats. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what my warrior cat name would be, but I didn't realize it was about regular cats. And when I found out, I was so fucking mad. I was so mad. I was livid. Oh, that's really fun, Heather. <gasps> Seven. How'd it go? How was your exam? <clears throat> Animorphs? I didn't read Animorphs. No, but the creator has like a trans kid, right? I think so. Which is fun. <laughs> Listen, I, I heard good things about the Warrior Cat books, but I was livid. Oh, I don't know what the Animorph books are like at all. I didn't read those. <clears throat> are they about war and trauma? No, yeah, Hannah was telling us about it. My little win is that our wall looks like this. I like how the egg is front and center. Oh, that is really funny, Squid Ink. I was not paying enough attention. Matter Treehouse fucks. Absolutely fucks. Hello, darlings. We're painting the wall. Look at the wall. Oh my God. Sorry, the screen keeps going dark and scaring me. Oh, I should put our light in here. What light? The... The ring light? Yeah. Why? I guess there's nowhere to plug it in. Yeah, well also, I don't think it would help. <clears throat> you don't think we'd look better? Oh, I think it was a wall. That's true, Pigeon Pants. <gasps> Hell yeah. Oh, fuck it up, Seven. I love that amazing there is a little egg there's a little egg graham said that in how the fuck do i close out of this oh i don't know i already tried there we go oh no i turned into a lobster at school what a funny situation that's what i thought they were about i guess not yeesh are they like children with powers uh i don't know i do not know it is the fruit of the chicken we've decided technically it's a chicken period but here we are um, but Graham said that in a cross stitch, you have to have like one stitch that's fucked up. And so we decided to throw a little egg in there for funsies. Oh my golly. I got the burps. <clears throat> what? 
It's like the premise of Animorphs is that aliens are taking over the world and then other aliens turn kids into animals to like combat them. What? <clears throat> yes, questionably sticky. Absolutely. The smell of erasers. So true, bestie. Oh my god. I love the Scholastic Book Fair. More than too many things. No, Echo Empire. I love cross stitch. I think it's so beautiful. Oh, have y'all seen my chaotic little cross stitch that's in our bathroom? It's got a word on it that you can't type in chat. Don't forget the weird brain slugs with the enemy. That sounds terrible. I never tasted erasers. I didn't. <laughs> oh, it's a bruise. It's a bruise. It's a bruise that I have. No, 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 no. I've got a bruise, and let me tell you about it. <laughs> no, no, no. We've been derailed. We've been derailed. It's a real injury. Here's what happened. You can't see the little the thing that you're on, but it's a step ladder kind of like this one, but it's got three steps. So it goes to about here. Hold on. <laughs> no, no, no. This is the ground. I know you can't see it from where you're at, but I was up on the second? No, I think I was on the top. The third step, so there's like four steps total, it, the fourth being the top of the ladder. I'm standing this far above the ground, which I know you can't see, in my socks, because I'm stupid, which is fine. And that is- And here's stupid. what happened, is I'm on the thing and I'm painting. I don't know what I'm painting. And I go, Morgan, Morgan, I'm falling. I'm going to fall. And Morgan, in slow motion, goes, how are you going to fall? <laughs> and I go, Morgan, Morgan. And then I fall. And what happened is I slipped my little foot. As I'm trying to step down, my foot slips out from under me. My sock flies across the room, absolutely flies. And I land with my legs. I land on my ass perfect, which is good. Except for I, as the ladder is falling, it's coming down with me and I'm trying to like not hit myself against the ladder. So I like bang my arm against it as I'm like pushing it away from me. So the ladder is com just completely sideways and I'm just on my ass with my legs out like this. Literally spousal neglect. <laughs> Thank you, look at this. And immediately she's cackling. <laughs> She does it, and I'm just like this, my eyes this big, because I've just fallen like four feet. <laughs> you fell like two feet. Oh, the speedy sock taking off did come back to haunt me. I was very brave. Thank you. Oh, where there's blame, there's a claim. I will be suing you. No, no, no. You cannot sue me, I am too cute. But the problem is if she'd gotten up quickly, she could have saved me. I told we'll her. We'll never know. It was like weirdly wobbly on our stupid little carpet and our silly floor that's like definitely not even. And I was like, there's no gaslighting courtesy of Morgan. <laughs> I could have lived, but no, it was ridiculous. I am okay. It was just that. And then I've got this really nasty, actually, questionably sticky will be representing me in court. Thank you, lawyer sticky. I appreciate that. I am a ghost. I'm literally dead. Anyway. Uh, oh, here's a little scratch. You can't see, it's not like scary, but it was really annoying me yesterday. It's actually healed really quickly. Oh, it was amazing. Jake Wesley Rogers was so good. A star, an icon. Incredible. Incredible, so talented. Veronica, I'm so sorry. We're here, we're here to restore your, we're here to bring you fruity, good times energy. In the arms of the angels. I fell onto my ass. No, no, no. And my wife could have saved me. <laughs> no, no, no. She's a monster. A monster. But it's okay. I am alright. But is that a gnarly scar? And it turned red like right away. It's also, I guess like, we're kind of filming this on like a microwave right now. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh. We're using it for the insurance money. But it's you can see like time. the dots. You know, you know, when you have a bruise and you can see like the dots. The separate blood vessels. Yes. Well, I wasn't gonna say that. She's a little monster. What are you painting right now? Leaves. I'm telling you, my big leaves look stupid. 
No, they look good. Now, if I just make this skinnier, I think they'll be fine. I want their lines to be real thin. Because right now, yeah, this looks... They were supposed to be thin. You didn't look at the picture. I did look at the picture. No, no, no. I didn't have the necessary... This was the skinniest brush we had at the time. That's not true. That is true. We didn't have those yet. No, we hadn't painted this until yesterday. No. You're wrong. I'm a little bit white. My wife's just lying. That's true. Listen. We told Graham the entire bad hotel story today. Oh, we did. We took like a full like hour and a half to tell my grandma the terrible hotel story. Which is, I guess, kind of funny because we basically told it in like three hours on stream. On like two separate occasions, I think. But yeah. Sometimes it's like that. It's a terrible hotel. Yeah, we went back and looked at more reviews today. And they've just gotten worse. Yeah. <clears throat> it's the Adrift. Long Beach, Washington. Long Beach, Washington. Do not stay there. No, but you can go look at the Google reviews. Pigeon Pan says Morgan is gaslighting the beeper, gatekeeping the skinny brushes, and girl bossing the mural. Yeah. Literally true. Oh my god, Veronica, that's so funny. Wait, let me see if I can find the Google reviews. I guess I have my phone. We'll do a dramatic reading. We'll do a dramatic reading of the recent um, reviews of the terrible hotel we stayed at. Because <clears throat> it's so bad, y'all. So bad. Hold on. It says it's a three-star hotel. And it says it has four stars. Let's do newest. Not most relevant. Please give me newest. Okay, are you ready, team? Okay. <laughs> This is uh, from six months ago. The stay here was terrible. The worst part was the zero ventilation in our room. This was two adults and one child in our room that was so stuffy we couldn't sleep. We experienced very similar things. There was a cheap little fan we found in the corner to try and cool us that worked little to none. It was only 80 that day too, which is wild. Cause when we had it, it was, oh my so God, it was like 103 degrees. The interior features of our room were a joke. The lighting was that of a temporary construction site uh, that looked unsafe at best. The floor was cement board painted with some kind of sealant that looked ridiculous. The workmanship of this establishment was bottom of the line, shoddy, cheap work. I felt as though I was at a college dormitory on the verge of being condemned. <laughs> All this glory at over $300 for our night. Stay somewhere else. Y'all. They are not fucking around. <laughs> they really I can't believe, are not. Like, it's been at least a year since we were there, and they haven't done, done anything to make it better. No. This is somebody who gave it three out of five stars. Melissa, I'm surprised by that. But let's go. One of the reasons I wanted to stay here so bad was the proximity to the beach and the sauna. I called the day of booking to ask them about the sauna policies and they never told me it was out of order. I was so sad when I arrived and couldn't use it. They didn't even say anything at check-in and you still have to pay the fee even though half the amenities aren't working. The restaurant is great and so is the distillery on property. Bathroom could use some love but the decor was nice in the room. And they're wrong because it isn't. No. They've got a photo of the room. This literally looks exactly like the room that we stayed in. That's not nice decor. It's actually, this actually is definitely better than the one that we had. Oh, here's where we've got another, they've got these rope lights. And you can do this in a cute way. No, I, well, I feel it's hard to do it in a cute way anyway. Shabby chic, more like shoddy chic. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Let's see. This one's three out of five stars. Oh no. Are you ready, team? Made the reservation about a month in advance and then booked a couple's massage during the stay. For some reason, the spa booked us for the following month, not the requested time during our stay. I called the morning of what I thought was the day of the appointment to confirm the time, only to find out that they had set up the appointment for the wrong date. Stuff happens, right? How about some love for screwing up the dates? Absolutely no offer of any type of compensation. Nothing we can do. The room was decent with a fantastic view of the parking lot. 
Sand covering the floor and garbage left behind the bathroom there door. There was sand all over the room. The hotel restaurant seemed like it had potential. Our first night at check-in, 4 p.m., we were advised to make a reservation, which I promptly tried to do, but they were booked out until 8 p.m. Tried an early lunch the next day, and the place was basically empty. We got seated within a few minutes with waters, but then ignored after a couple were seated after us were served. Maybe we hit this place on the wrong day, but something really went, but nothing really went well. And like I said, no offer of compensation. We won't be back. Oh my so god. Theme hotels are cool, but why did they choose the theme landlord special? Squid Ink, you're right. <laughs> you are so right. Oh my so god. Light shade leaning against the wall. Maybe it was. Let's see. I don't think so. It's like it's like a I mean they've got this. I I honestly feel like if I was designing this, I would just put the light up higher. The loop is not feeling intentional there with the rope, you know? They bring the beach to you, I see. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, this is one out of five <gasps> stars. Are y'all ready? This one's really bad. Hold on. We chose this hotel based on some good reviews we saw. Unfortunately, we had a negative experience. Most importantly, we found a pill in our room that our toddler could have easily swallowed. There was garbage and a dog bone under the bed. There was a lot of hair around the room. The room was cold and industrial, not kid friendly. The lighting they use with rope slash wires could be dangerous. The room seems rough and put together. No microwave, no freezer in the mini fridge, no coffee maker, no bathtub. The partial ocean view was not as expected as you had to stand at a certain angle to see some of the ocean. Thankfully, the host, hotel staff, staff let us cancel the rest of our reservation after the first night. And they've got a photo of the pill on the ground, which honestly looks like a supplement. It's like a capsule. But oh my so god. That's the thing, if it was just one of those things, like... Literally seven. Like, you can miss a pill when you're, like, cleaning, whatever. But, like, a dog bone under the bed? Also, you can see hair next to the pill in this photo. It's kind of hard to see across two screens. But, yeah, it's not... This looks gross. And is this... Yeah, here's the dog bone under the bed. POV on the pill! Fruity salad, you're here at the perfect <laughs> time. We're painting a mural. I cannot, y'all. Oh my so god. Let's read another one. <gasps> oh no. Two out of five stars. This is a month ago. Oh, really? Sticky, that's so good to know. Our melatonin is a gummy, so like I would have never thought it was melatonin. Although honestly, like a baby should not be having melatonin, yeah. They shouldn't have anything. Well, that's true. On the ground. That's very true, but <laughs> okay. Kate says, marketing photos versus reality. We felt duped. The pool and sauna were disappointing. The pool design concept is great, but execution was poor. There were no clean pool towels available as the small pool was very crowded. We walked over to the lobby to ask about additional towels. The woman was not friendly and wondered why we were there. Back at the pool, there was a gross pile of hair slash gunk that appeared to be pulled from a filter just lying on the edge of the pool. Our little kids still enjoyed the pool and we stomached the overused aspect of it all. The barrel sauna was barely warm. The kids were going in and out and even even though the rule was over age 16 only. Okay, so this is, this kind of sounds like they're just complaining about some like normal things, if I'm being completely honest. If they, I mean- They can't control what other people do. No, no. And that is, sounds gross. You know, <gasps> yay, Seven, I love that for you, baby. It is Long Beach. Is that a joke you're made, making, Fruity Salad? Because this is, we're literally talking about the Adrift Hotel in Long Beach, Washington. Um, rooms are very small. We stayed in an East Building two queen room and it was tight as a family with two young kids. The flat screen TV was gargantuan. <laughs> yeah, I'm obsessed. Especially given the small size of the room. It was mounted oddly far away from the wall, which added to the in-your-face feeling. They could have gone with a screen half the size, mounted properly, better fit the design aesthetic. Okay, like, not to be rude, but, like, who here is complaining? Do you live in Washington? Fruity salad. I'm obsessed with that. Yeah. So this was, like, over, God, what was it, two years ago now? No, it was right at a year ago, I would say. Yeah, right at a year ago. We stayed at this horrible hotel for free. Thank you so much, Moon Buckets. They uh, wanted us to do content about it, and it was terrible. It was the worst place. Terrible. The worst hotel we've ever stayed at. Um, the small area around the sink was dirty and clearly not sanitized between stays. The bath drained very slowly. Only positive was the hot shower with good water pressure. If only That's the tub. Nice. That is nice. If only the tub could drain. If you could get a room in the East Building, it's really a motel with some cheap furnishings, not worth the price. 
That's all true. That's all true. However, people being in the pool and the TV being big is not something I would complain about. What I would complain about is the fact that when we turned the water on, it smelled like sulfur. It was terrible. Yeah. Thank you, fruity salad. You're too sweet. Okay, this one's two out of five. Struggle with this review. Love the sustainable decor, pool, sauna, ocean views, and food. However, my husband and I didn't get any sleep due to lack of enforcement of after hours activity. We called the front desk several times about noise and laughter from the outdoor fireplace in front of the hotel. The hotel made no concessions. In fact, the night receptionist said there were no curfew hours and the AM receptionist said there were. Frustrating and won't say again. See, like, that's not, I don't think that's a fair. I don't know. You know what I mean? No, compared to the other things that Thank are wrong you. with the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. When they said sustainable decor, did they see did they the, like, they got it from a garbage truck? the damp squares of carpet? samples that we had seen they must not have they must have had a better room also the sauna and the pool were just like mosquito gre breeding grounds when we were there breeding grounds breeding grounds sorry <laughs> oh my gosh hello thanks ash thanks thanks morgan's doing some painting back there as you can see i'll stand on this side so you can see her a little better she's very cute hello hello the host uh, no literally that's the thing, Sticky. Like, a per I, I don't know. Oh, it's the same terrible hotel. TV too big for the aesthetic, literally. Like, why? Yeah, that's not something I would complain about. Sustainable, parentheses, I stole carpet samples from Ikea. So true, Seven. They're not loading anymore for me. Let's just go straight to lowest rating. Why do you not work? I'll refuse. It'll only let me click most relevant, which is super annoying. Why? Why are you like this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we ready, team? Sustainable is in the decor. We did not put an effort to sustain it. Very energy efficient. Oh, my God. Fruity salad. That's a little bit, that's a little spicy. We'll come back to that for you. Um, Fat Fancy's cl closed until further notice right now. Yeah, I saw. Which is stressful. Yeah, folks were just saying that they had tried to go and they couldn't because they're closed. Yeah, I, know, I don't know what's going on. I know the owner's, like, husband's having, like, a health thing. Dealing with a lot of stressful things. Yeah. It seems, and I think that, I don't, I don't know what all we should be saying about it, but it seems like when the new owner, who's really lovely, took over, there was a lot of really stressful problems that had, like, not been addressed. With the old owner. With the old owner. And so they essentially were, like, super in the hole in terms of money that they needed to be making. So I was kind of surprised they stayed open that long. But we were supposed to be doing, like, a monthly online, like, live sale with them. And that was canceled pretty quickly because they have a lot of shit going on. Very spicy. Thanks, Holly Tree. You're very sweet. Yeah, well, so we actually, not this much nearly at all whatsoever, but when, when we lived in an apartment complex, we very chaotically did a mural on one of our, like, really, like, tiny walls and then frantically painted over it before we left. It was chaotic. I would not necessarily recommend unless you're going to be there for a long time. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm so glad for you, Salad. Yeah, it's kind of hard in Portland sometimes. I feel like there is a lot of, like, thrifted clothes places. My little one is that the wall looks like this. But a lot of them are, like, for skinny people, which is not a crime, but it is annoying. It feels like a crime. Okay, read the review review. No, read. literally. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so sorry. Back to the reviews of the terrible hotel that we stayed at a year ago. Fun and fresh. Oh, my God. Dorian, that's so exciting. Fuck it up, babe. I love that for you. Oh, my God. Daisy, thank you so much. You're too sweet. Oh, yeah, that's hard, Holly Tree, for sure. Obsessed with all your little wins. Okay, hold on, hold on. So we're reading uh, stressful reviews from the terrible hotel that we stayed at about a year ago. This one says three out of five stars from Tanya, seven months ago. We reserved this hotel after reading reviews so we felt aware of the pros and cons and assumed any issues previously identified had been addressed. I'm sad to say they weren't. Right. Our room had a great view and I was feeling at ease until 10 p.m. when we discovered the shower handle was broken and the shower couldn't be used. The staff quickly moved us to another room, which had, which was great, but such a bummer at 10 p.m. with two kids and stuff that had already been unpacked. It seems as though the shower had been cleaned, then it would have been identified that the handle was broken. Right. Just my guess. Maybe there was some other reason that this was overlooked. The new room was the same layout, but had a worse view of the uh, uh, and a bathroom fan that must have had some heat function that made the bathroom feel like a sauna. A little more quality control slash regular maintenance might be helpful. We were fairly compensated for the trouble and felt great about the staff and the amenities, just less excited about the rooms. That's actually kind of the best one that we've read so far yeah 
in terms of like the good reviews or the bad reviews. Oh my God, Condalore, you're too sweet. Thanks, babes. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <gasps> A Honda CRV, cute. I love that for you. Can I sit like this? Can you guys see me? I'm just a weird little floating head. You are a weird little head. I'm one of the fruits on the wall. You'll never know. I finish this leaf in this one. Oh, we're doing reviews of the terrible hotel that we stayed at in uh, Washington about a year ago. Oh no. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. This is two out of five stars from Donna. I was told 100% view. Not sure of what. I love when old people are <laughs> like that. That's so funny. No microwave. Bed was comfortable. Shower was a joke. Restaurant by far was awesome. Room was way too high priced for what we got. Would never stay there again. Donna, I respect that, babe. Oh my God, Em, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Condolor, you are so sweet. And it's so funny that you would say that. You can kind of right now see the size and scale of things. It, there's nothing we did the mural exactly the way we wanted to but like the strawberries up here huge the strawberries down here small well it was hard <laughs> it's uh it's hard to keep a consistent scale when you don't actually have a projector you can actually lower and you know what i mean yeah we were, kind of, we were stacking books on top of books oh my god hi noah yeah we were literally stacking like books up and having the projector like to get at the right height and like zoom in zoom out <laughs> it's true listen we had a fun time so i feel like it's good Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh no. Okay, are you ready, y'all? This is for uh, one out of five stars for the terrible hotel we stayed at. A funky little fruit salad. Thank you, Ash. We're having fun. We're having a good time. I was gonna say, it's gonna be really fun. Oh, that was good. That was good, Mother Blinker. I liked your little joke. Okay, are you ready, team? One out of five stars from Jeff. This hotel was old and had recently been made over to try and modernize it. The rooms are not at all kid friendly and some of the choices they made for lighting are actually a hazard. There is no AC here in rooms. There's actually no interior hospitality door locks in the rooms either. The vehicle and the parking lots are close to the room. So if you leave the windows open, it's noisy at night. The restaurant on site, the pickled fish was not good. I got a steak dinner and it was lukewarm when I received it. Yes. The flavor was bland. The drinks did not taste good. They were out of straws also. We came back for breakfast and was again disappointing and they were still out of straws. Now baby, it's a sustainable hotel, so I think they literally don't have straws. This hotel was old. This hotel had everything. Lukewarm steak. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, ever tried drinking a spicy Bloody Mary with a spicy salt rim and no straw? I looked around the restaurant, every person there had a Bloody Mary was not finishing it. We paid our breakfast bill with cash and had no way, they had no way to make change for us also. Pool was fun, but it smelled pretty bad. They did close it down the next day for a deep cleaning though. The water that comes out of that tap at the hotel is so gross, so they yes. have complimentary water in large dispensers at the lobby. After two days of cucumber water, I couldn't handle it anymore. The good thing about the hotel is the location to the beach entrance. All in all, I wish we'd stayed somewhere else and I wish we'd ate somewhere else. The beach was fun and the best staying place I've ever flown a kite. The hotel was lipstick on a pig. That's actually rude to pigs, for sure. Yeah. That's inconsiderate to pigs who are lovely and this hotel sucks. Okay, do you see what I did with the leaves? It's kind of ugly, but I think from far away it's not as ugly. Oh no, I think those are cute, so that's fine. Well, they're not. But that's what we have now. I think they're fine. I'm gonna try to make this look more like that by making it skinnier. All right. Now, good luck. Love of my life, you created this green color. Where is it? It's over there. It's got a label on it, does it? Okay, you hang out with my friend. Is there enough more of it? Maybe. What did you label it? Please don't throw up in the paint. Okay. If I, if I labeled it, it's labeled green. Okay, I've got blue light. I've got orange. I've got lemon shadow. I don't think he labeled it. I don't I got, think he did on what I'm I thinking. Got mango orange. It was 50% the small light green, 50% the small dark green. That was my sure? recipe, yes. Because it was sure? the very first one that I made. Okay. So you were still making recipes at that point. Right. Hello, Dorian. Yeah, it was the worst hotel. In the world. In the world. Um, so Crayon Bad Boy, you can sip on the salt part. It's not, I don't know. I always use a straw and then I just kind of lick the side of my glass. That's what I do. 
I guess I always assumed, maybe just because I have autism and I haven't had that many Bloody Marys, that you're supposed to sip, because like a margarita, I feel like I'm like munching, sipping on the salt on purpose. For yeah, sure. no, that's true. Is it I wish I had a tall chair. Spicier? Mm, I guess, I don't know. If we had the stools from, from upstairs. Yeah, I don't want to go up there. What? I don't want to go up there. Well, I can get it. Oh, if you get it, I'll, I'll sit in it. Okay, hold on. I do like salt rims on my drinks. I don't drink anymore, though. That home project DIY vibe where you progressively care late about the paint mix recipes. Yes. Okay, but most of it is pretty, like, achievable by, like, looking. Except for the orange, which looks like shit now. No, no, no. I like him. Do you guys like this orange? Mm -hmm. I like that he looks so patchy. He looks like a real orange. No, he's so patchy. I love him. I love that you love him. He's so patchy. He looks sick. Everybody else likes him. Okay. You can fix him if you want. I will. Thank you. Well, I, will you take a picture of him before you fix him? That bottom one, I don't care about so much. The top ones look unhinged. No, the top ones look terrible. But really? they can't they can't tell that because of the way the light is. I was going to say, they can't see how bad the they They said, I thought it was intentional. Exactly. Exactly. I like him the way he is. God made him perfectly. Are you God? Yeah. <laughs> Beeper destroys the orange, we might ignore their latter dangers again. Listen. My favorite fruit is the egg. Everybody tag yourself. You have to ask our friends if I'm they... I'm the papaya. The, the fruit, the egg of the this, fruit. The papaya's not done. None of the, I don't think anybody's done, actually. No. The pomegranates are oh, The pomegranates are, are done. done. They've got... This one needs more beige up here. A bunch of them, yeah, Looks need... Sick. They need, like, detail work. Have y'all... Everybody... Who on our Instagram was like, I've never heard of using a projector for a mural. Is that not how people make murals? No, I think people who are artists, like, look on their, like, whatever they pre-drew and then, like, Oh, well, we it. won't be doing that, though. Or people will project, like, a grid. And they'll also uh, have a grid on there. Yeah, I won't be doing that either. No. I'm sneezing. Are you getting me a stool? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you. All right, well, Phoebe's gone. What should we do? My dad always uses a projector for murals. Yeah, I feel like that makes the most sense. You can grid it for projectors are so easy. Yeah. We live in the future. Why wouldn't I take advantage of that? Oh, no. I'm going to have to plug in the computer in a second. The wall is full of seeds. Very fertile. Full of one egg. We took our negative pregnancy test this morning. I love it. It's so... What a fun journey we're on. It's great. What shirt? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna poop and then I'll be back. Oh my god, you're gonna I go think it'll so be a long. quick one. No, no, no. No, no, you've never done a quick one. And then I gotta come back and do the leaves. Wow. <gasps> Look at me. It is. It is. It's okay. So I should start my period. I think tomorrow if it doesn't start later today I look so small my head is the same size as the papaya the space after the strawberry this space we will be filling it's not filled right now because we didn't have a tall enough ladder um, to get the projector up there the only reason we were able to project stuff here and here it's hard to explain. We had kind of a rickety little setup. We didn't have a tall enough ladder. Now we do have a tall ladder. You can't see it, no. But it is here. Dad bought a new ladder today. So it will get filled eventually. Right now it's empty. Um, yeah. Yeah, we only stream till five on Fridays. And then I don't know what we're supposed to do for dinner. I think we're supposed to have Brenner. But, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's why it's so frustrating. In theory, they've always been timed right. We just didn't know if I was ovulating. 
And then this time we definitely know that I was ovulating, but we're still not pregnant, so it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. I'm easygoing. And I'm fine. Um, but the painting has been a nice distraction. I think it's also gotten me excited for like other things that we've been like wanting to do. We also might be planning a trip to Disneyland, which will also be a really good distraction. So that's nice. Um, hopefully, thank you, Headlong Flight. Hopefully that'll happen. It depends on um, if our friend Jacob can get off of work. Thanks. I'm really excited about it. And it'll be so fun like when people come over and we'll be like, oh, we painted this wall. You know? And it looks, it literally looks fake right now. When I wake up in the middle of the night to pee, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. So that's really nice. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else exciting that has happened. Grammar's really cute. We stayed up to like 1 a.m. talking. You know when like you haven't seen someone in a long time or at least like a few months and so you stay up till like 1 a.m. being like, well, did I tell you that so-and-so is thinking about doing so-and-so's this, this, and this? You know what I mean? And so we were up to like 1 a.m. finding out like drama that happened with Graham's family like 40 years ago. Um, so that was fun. That was exciting. It was, it was nice. And then she was up till like 1.30 talking to Phoebe's dad last night. We went to sleep. She, she didn't get hardly any sleep being here. Catching up happens in long time when in person. Um, things will be blocking it. Well, so the, the couch goes right here. But the problem is, I don't know if you can see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm picking you up. Oh my god, I can't pick you up that much because it's plugged into the wall. Can you see our couch? Hold on. This is our couch. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like beige with stripes. And it's like, it's not going to go with, it's not going to go with the vibe. But we thrifted it like a year ago when we first moved in. And it was nice. Thank you. It was nice. It was fine. But now it's like, it's not really the vibe. Well, I don't know. Here's the problem with thrifting a couch. You have to bring it home. <laughs> Versus if we like get one from like Ikea. You know, we have a, our other chairs are yellow. Um, we have like leaf pillows, which are really cute. I don't know. I think that's a thing. Hey, people always say couch covers. They're always like, you should get couch covers. And we had them for our old couch in our old apartment. And what they don't tell you is like every time you sit on a couch that has a couch cover on it, it just moves around and it looks like really sloppy. So you have to like be constantly tucking them back in. And it was so annoying that I just took it off even though it didn't match our whole other vibe in our last apartment. It comes untucked so much. It's like every time you sit on it, it's like wrinkly. I don't know. I th I'm thinking about rent dyeing it. The other thing is it's, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not like a real couch. It's like a love seat. It's like a big chair. Like you, and then I'm tucking crumbs in, right. Anyway, so like you can only really have one person sit on it or two people who are small and snuggly. So that's the other reason I would like a different couch. But we'll see. Ugh, we do not have couch money right now. No, that's the other problem. I really, I don't think, how bonkers is it gonna drive you? We'll find out. We can also swap places. Like we can put the yellow chairs. No, but we can't put the couch here. Look how low all the pictures are. Well, we could hide it in our pictures. That's too much. Or we could just take off the lowest. Round. Right. What I would love is a couch sponsorship. Couch sponsorship. I also don't hate the couch being faced like this. I'd actually much rather the couch be there. What? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. 
Why? How would we get into the living room? You have to no, jump here. over the couch. We will be able to see the TV. No. Yeah, you can just walk right through here. So yellow chair here, this here. And this little walk through here. I think it makes sense. No. Okay, so this is the color that you're saying that it was, half and half? Yeah. That's the color of those leaves. We'll find out. I don't think, why are you worried about okay. it? Okay, <laughs> I'm so mad. Okay, no, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, where are my shoes? I don't think I could sew covers on it. They're literally over here. Yeah, they're in a good spot. Okay. I'm just grabbing my shoes. All right, by my shoe. Oh. Sometimes I gotta rest my elbow on your breast. Thanks. The problem is we need a tiny couch. I don't. It'd be hard to make a cover for it because it's a small couch. It's so yeah. It's a smouch. It's a really small couch. What I, yeah, but what I would love, as I was saying, is um, Phoebe, like a year ago, emailed this company that sometimes works with influencers to be like, hey, we just moved. We need a couch. If you, We would do it for, for just a couch instead of you paying us money. Like, yeah, so the, there's still couch covers if they're like individual pieces. Um, questionably sticky, they're just like not, I don't know, that's what we had at the old place. It was like for each... Um, couch like piece. Okay, are you seeing how this would be really cute if it was the right color? Yeah. No, I think it's cute now. I think it is. I really do think it is the right color. I think it's going to dry fine. Okay. Um. Yeah. Companies like Loaf? No. What's Loaf? We have Ikea. They don't loaf. hire influencers though. Who's Loaf? Um but anyway yeah we had couch covers for the old couch in our old apartment and they just it was too much it was more work than it was worth and it also like I feel like they look good in the videos or the like the advertising and then you get up home and you're like why does my couch look so like it's like under a bag a king size blanket and you nail gun it to the couch <laughs> Um, someone did say dyeing it with Rick dye, and it is a thought that I've had, but I think the problem is how am I going to, number one, how am I going to dye something in my, I have to, like, put the couch on, like, two layers of tarp at least. Yeah, it's also so heavy, it cannot be. It's good. very heavy because it's secretly a hide-a-bed. <laughs> and. We have a disease where we only purchase hide-a-beds. Yes, and so it's so heavy, so getting it here in the first place was such a hassle. It did fit in the elevator, though, because it's small. It's a small couch. But that's the thing. If we, like, got a new one, it comes in, like, I'd be scared it would transfer color if it was dyed. Right! Yeah. But it is a good idea, and I've seen people do it. But it, it makes it too scary. Yeah, that's the other thing about it being a hide -a bed is, like, that makes uh, using potentially couch covers harder. But... But it's holding up pretty good. What I want is like, at what at what point do you like become an adult enough or rich enough that you can actually buy like a nice couch that actually is comfortable? Because like I'm so I don't people will be like not like right now no one said this, but like they have like two hundred dollar couches on Amazon and I'm like yeah have you sat on those they're so uncomfortable. They're bad. They're bad. What if you collabed with the home decor design influencer and they got a brand deal that let them get a couch as part of like an overall decor plan? We're the influence. Uh, hang on. What if you collabed with a home decor slash design influencer? I think they mean brand. They must mean brand. I don't think that's a terrible idea. That was a thought that we, that, that's what we would love. I love everybody saying where their couches are from. Our couch is super expensive, but we did a payment plan. It's been so worth it. That's what other people have said. That we're not in a place to do that right now. No. But maybe eventually. Not when there's still the hope that I could trick someone into giving me a free couch. Yeah. I swear the day that I got at Ikea was like 350 and it's comfy. 
We just saw one that's like. Like, how are you feeling about this? This is what this was my vision with this the whole time. Yes, it's perfect. Okay. And I love it. Um. Bro, I bought the couch for our house and it was sort of spend that much. Yes. I got mine from a friend who got it from rich people on the Upper West Side. Good for you, though. You have a couch you can snooze on? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Muff Bam. We're taking turns painting and chatting. It would quite literally be, like, a punishment to try to sleep on this couch. Being plus size and my partner is too, and I can't do keep cheap couches anymore because they don't work for bigger bodies. That's so true. That is also true. That's the other thing we just, like, lucked out at Ikea. Uh, they're having, like, a spring sale right now where the same yellow as our yellow chair, they have a different chair that also, also comes in that same uh, yellow. And it was on sale for $150 when it's normally $260. And it's a really nice chair. And it's been, for me at least, obviously like all plus size diff people are like shaped differently. But for me, it's so comfortable. I want to buy a million of them. My couch came from Ashley Furniture and it took eight months to get here, but it's comfy. So couches especially, for whatever reason, we're super affected by like uh, the COVID like hard to ship things right now times. Um, when we were first moving to this house, the couch, one of the couches they were thinking about buying, they said could literally take like, like eight months. But the one they got ended up being one that they had in stock in Portland. So they just shipped it here. <laughs> I got my couch from Home Depot. It's not super comfy, but it's like a futon thing. And I slept on it for a while. Can you help me again, my love? Listen, that is better than any futon I've ever heard. What do you mean? Oh my God. Do you want me to do it as one person? No. You do it like this. Where are you trying to go? Just so I can get to this one. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that leaf looks way better now. Oh, he still looks kind of ugly on here, but he looks way better. <laughs> when you come to our house, you'll see. <laughs> Ours took seven months, and they sent us half in a different color, and then we had to wait another seven months. No. No. That's terrible. That's so stressful. I'm so proud of you. But at least it's here now. The salesperson said it had to do with the Texas freeze. Oh, <gasps> that oh. makes sense. Apparently one of the chemicals that are used to make the couch froze in Texas when everything else was frozen in Texas. Oh, that's bonkers. The name of the Ikea chair that is, <laughs> that is comfortable. Oh shoot, what's his name? It's like, it starts with an E I think, an E or a G. There's like three types of chairs they have at Ikea, and it's the very, very square looking one. Yeah, with like the high... Destroy all furniture, ultimate minimal design. Oh my god, that's funny. It's the foam. Oh, the foam that was frozen? Uh, I already have furniture because I do not have the money on the mental... That's the other thing, our friends who just moved here... They literally only moved with the stuff they could fit in their car, and so they've gone to Ikea, I think now three times, um, to buy stuff. And, like, they saved up to buy stuff when they just got here, but it's like, they're like, we have made have to make so many decisions every time we go somewhere. <laughs> and I was like, that makes sense. Yeah, they, have, awesome. they have decision fatigue, because they're having to, like, pick things all the time. And, like, you know, and, oh, yeah, 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 Ikiro. They loved Ikea. They said it was overwhelming, which is fair. I feel like if you've never been, or if you're the kind of person who doesn't like to be really stimulated, like, in that way. If you have autism. Yeah. It's, uh... It can be super overwhelming. It's super overwhelming. It's the opposite of overwhelming for me. I'm, like, happiest in the Ikea. I love it. I also love the airport and the grocery store. For similar reasons. It's like, um... I haven't seen it yet, but y'all know that part in the In the Heights movie where it's like there's all this noise happening and she's like, shh, I'm listening to my block. That's me at the grocery store and at Ikea. <laughs> I have autism and the first time I went to Ikea it made me cry and I passionately avoid the grocery store. Yeah. I've never seen a couple fighting in Ikea. I know it's like a, a rite of passage, but I've never seen it. Yeah, it's great for my ADHD. So much to look at. I love it. And I love to be like, I live for the chaos. I love to be like, mm, I'm not sure. Let's figure it out. 
when I'm like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. The, the only downside of Ikea is that there's only one bathroom upstairs and one downstairs, and they're both at the front of the store. And so if you decide that you have to pee halfway through the store... Yeah, you're fucked. You have to go through the entire, like, museum of Ikea and get to the end, and then you have to walk backwards to meet back where your friends were. Ikea bathrooms are my help. The bathroom itself, I do feel like, is a nice bathroom, but I really wish... Excuse me, they had one at like a halfway point. I love the meatballs. You gotta decide you need to pee 30 minutes in advance. I always Literally. pee like first thing when I get there because of that. And then I usually try to also pee just like when we stop and get lunch. So usually we get there as early as you can in the morning. It'll be less busy. It'll still be busy, but it'll be less busy. Um, <clears throat> pee first. Go through the, the top section, which is the showrooms. At the end of that, you pee again, you eat lunch. Then you go to Marketplace. That's the best way to do it. It is much better to go in the morning on a Saturday, even though it's Saturday, than in the afternoon any day. That's true. It's best to go in the morning of like a Monday or a Tuesday, for sure. But I love Ikea. I love it so much. <gasps> Hello. I've never had their packaged cinnamon rolls. Thank you. We're taking turns talking and then painting. There's an Ikea my partner's way home from work, and wow, I'm glad it's not on my commute because I would be stopping all the time for a little wonder. <laughs> oh my gosh, Seven, we should. Go to British Ikea? What? So fun. Do they have that? Seven, do, does it feel closer to like... Where's Ikea from? It's Sweden. Is it Sweden? It's Sweden. Dutch. No, it's Swedish. Swedish. Yeah, I think you're right. I am right. That sounds wrong in my head, though. Swedish, Swedish. It's closer to Sweden in the UK, though, right? So, yeah. maybe it feels closer to... Maybe all of the furniture inside of the Ikea feels closer to home. Stay with me here, you know? When I was in college, my super poor roommate would go and sit in the different rooms, pretend we lived there. Yes! It is fun. That part's fun. Exactly. The real Ikea. Has anyone been to Ikea in Sweden? Do they have it in Sweden? Not to be rude, but I thought they didn't have it in They must, right? I thought the whole thing was that they were like, look, we're foreign. <laughs> not to be, again. I love, I love foreign. It's not that. It's just, I thought that was their I thing. <laughs> Oh what? my god, sorry, sorry. Can you come grab this? Yeah. I did not know he was going to be there. Hey, that's not for your elbow. It is now. Can you scooch it back a little bit? Not really. All right, you scream. You hold, because I thought he was going to fall and I was sad. Yeah, he's worth like $300. I know. Phoebe. <laughs> I'm doing good. Why wouldn't they? Who's reading those tags? <laughs> Listen. Sorry, everyone, for being scary. I love I love walking through Ikea. I also, the first time I went with Phoebe, I would be like, okay, so this is like my New York apartment. You know, it's cute. It's functional. It's perfect for when I'm in the city, you know? No, Phoebe, do not be scared. Phoebe screams too much. They I'm make fun of, normal. no, they make fun of their mom for gasping too much. Phoebe screams for no reason. I was trying to get your attention and I did. <laughs> Also, it wasn't on purpose. I don't go, oh, I'll scream now. No, no, no. My mouth just starts screaming. I have a scream reflex. Watching the scary way Beeper stands on the ladder but blaming Morgan when they fall. Isn't that hey, interesting? Hey, hey, Can you guys see their feet? You can't even see their feet. <laughs> Look at that. That's not the way God intended for you to stand on a ladder. I'm God now. No, no, no. You gotta have a good roleplay moment in the Ikea homes. The ladder's a little green now, but that's probably fine, I think. <laughs> Lesbians love Ikea. Mom said, do you think my gasps are planned? I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that. I'm acknowledging it. I don't- Shelly's gasps really don't bother me. Unless, like, we're- I think it's because I'm traumatized from my childhood. Unless, like, something... I mean that jokey. I want to be really clear. My, I have a good mom. 
Unless Shelly, I thought, was reading a stressful article and, and is instead Sorry, reading a fun article, which has only really happened once. I don't feel like her gas really scare me. I feel like I can tell that she's excited like 90% of the time. Beaver tried to frame Morgan for making them a ghost. Thank no, you. No, she did make me a ghost. What are you doing? I'm moving the ladder. Good. Okay. <laughs> I have to pee. Can you watch the kids? Yes. Hop. You're being weird. No, it's hopping up. She's being weird and strange. I wasn't standing on tiptoe. You I was were. standing in like first position for ballet or your whatever feet it is. Are out of your shoes. No, they're not. Was I on my tiptoes? My crime is how I stand on the ladder. Were those my tiptoes? I don't think so. I think they're like this. Like here's one foot, here's the other foot. They're like this. Put those dogs away. Sorry. Yeah, I do be like that. Em. I love your little kiss X at the end, Seven. I don't know how, my love. I can't do it. Welcome to Footstream. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. That was also my crime. My name's Phoebe. My pronouns are they, them. It does, Penlos. That's fair, baby. I am sorry. Must so god. Hey, listen, it's not much foot. Very little foot, truthfully. Everyone tell me that's true. Everyone tell me your shoe size. Maybe you thought I was on my tippy toes because my feet are small. I'm like a women's six. I'm literally like a men's four in shoes. So perhaps you thought those were my tiptoes when they were actually just my regular toes. It's why I fall over all the time. Listen. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know why feet why? I don't know why my feet got made so small. I really thought you were saying, why did God make your feet so small, Squid Ink? So I thought you were calling God feet. So I thought you were like, why did feet make your feet so small? And I was like, I did not realize. Toes tipped, ass clenched. Yes. I. It's honestly, my ass is not even clenched. It is truly just shaped like that. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Well, the really weird thing is that my mom has normal size feet. My mom's like a size like eight, I think. Like a size eight shoe. That's really cute, Seven. Sometimes you gotta. Do I stand with my knees locked? I don't know, Pigeon Pants. I think I pay too much attention to every part of my body other than my knees to even notice. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. Can't you pass out if you stand with your knees locked? They used to tell us that in choir. They said, don't knock your, lock your little knees. You'll break them. <laughs> oh, Modern Moonlight, it is a frog butt. That's true. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think my knees are locked. Oh, maybe they, that's, I think this is locked and this is not, sorry, I'm just like bouncing the top portion of my breasts at you. I think so. Oh, I'm sure my posture's awful. I'm sure it's terrible. Oh my, so God, Dorian. Oh, Willow, that sounds uncomfortable, babes. That is not sounding pleasant. Dorian. You type for it to be read. Don't you pretend. Huh. Half crouching? I'm slouching. I have a neck hump. Y'all see my hump? Just how I'm built. Bad. You know? I'm built different. I'm built terrible. Yes. Let me get it for you. 
Oh my god, seven so quick. They're home, they're home, they're home. <laughs> Supposedly a chiropractor can fix it. I recently learned that chiropractors are sometimes stressful. I did not know that. I did not know. Did y'all know a lot of chiropractors are like anti-vaxxers? It's very spicy. Are they Aries moons? <laughs> they could be, I don't know. It's a whole thing. It's like within the crunchy pipeline, chiropractors are like part of it. Oh my God. Cool breeze on you. It didn't want you to say hump my. <laughs> no, Corky Romano. Sorry, I can't read. Dowager Hump, my sister, has one. Spicy. You are not saying hump my sister, but it really thought, Nightbot really thought that you were. I'm so sorry. She did say, are they Aries moons? Tell them about Aries moons. No. Oh my God, stressful, Chelsea. Yeah, I guess physical therapists are the ones who are not as stressy. Automat is anti-black eyed peas, please. <laughs> Sorry, people are saying hump. Everyone's saying hump. Physical therapists are cool. Oh my god, I almost fell. Hey, don't. That was gooey. Hey, we're supposed to have Brenner tonight. I'm not doing anything. No, I don't think he's so. Okay, so I see you didn't fix your terrible thing you did over here. <laughs> I'm an Aries moon. I'm an Aries moon too. Oh no. Explain to them Aries moon. <sighs> okay. Y'all all gotta promise you won't say anything. But once... Sign the NDA. We've told this story before. We have told the story before. Once we had someone stressful, who the, it, they were only on our chat here on Twitch one day before they got banned. Um, it was like two different streams. Was it? Yeah, because it was a 12 hour stream. Oh, you're right. We had a 12 hour stream the day before and then they were in the next stream also. And then that day they got banned. Um, and so they were just saying a lot of things that were like kind of stressful in chat, but not like quite like actually concerning, just kind of like people who like someone who like clearly didn't get our vibe. And that makes sense because they're new. And that happens all the time, like where as someone like, uh, Twitch is like a weird place. Twitch is a weird place. And it's, so if somebody says something that's like strange or that we notice is kind of like not necessarily the vibe, that's not a crime at all. No. And as long as like some, as we say like, oh, I don't think that's the vibe to like whoever. And then they're like, oh, sorry. And they like take that note. Then like anybody can be here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, right. And so anyway, at the, at the end of it, when they eventually got banned was they, um, it was on my, a solo stream. It was a solo stream with Phoebe. And they literally were like, oh, you shouldn't uh, get... Well, I was talking about my day. So I was like, yeah, we got our... We have our boosters. Boost, our other, our like fourth booster or whatever it was, the most recent one. Like we got that like scheduled and did it and it really wasn't too bad. And I think it was Kay was like, oh, like I just like scheduled mine. And I was like, oh my gosh, like so exciting. Like anyway. And so this make person, sure you guys get back some boosters. This person was like, yeah, literally just like said that. And then we moved on. And then they were like, oh, well you really shouldn't be like using, like the boosters don't actually do anything and it really doesn't matter. And like getting like vaccinated, like doesn't help you Give it, so, giving anti-vaxxer. So I just immediately banned them like fully banned. And this is after they'd already said some like uncomfortable things right. about like our sex life or like things like that in chat that we just ignored. Weird jokey things that were like not quite. Right. Like, anyway, like, not that's quite. not even necessarily the crime because we've banned people before. Like it happens. It just means like you're not welcome here if you're going to give that energy. Yeah. And they then message us <laughs> on Instagram and they said like, hey, Sorry if I was weird. I'm an Aries moon and I'm like really opinionated. They said, I was talking about the same thing everybody else was talking about. I don't understand why I'm getting banned. I'm an Aries moon and I just have to say how I feel. Yes. It was and we were so like, funny. you don't get to just upset people in our chat and us and then be like, I'm actually an Aries moon so I can do what I want. It was absurd. So now it's a joke that we have in chat. It's absurd. Yeah. People, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like if I got blocked by someone, which happens, every, every single person here, whether you know it or not, has been blocked by somebody. 
for either something you did or just something they don't like about you or whatever. It doesn't matter. Weaponized astrology. Oh my god. Well, I think the funny thing is that sometimes people will have like a comment deleted or they'll get banned and like a lot of people are like, oh, we've had people before. Not a lot of people, but a couple of times they're like, oh, the moderators on this channel are so stressful, which is really bold because a couple of times it's been something that I specifically deleted their comment for. It wasn't even one of the moderators. But also, like, the moderators are people who we have put in power because we trust them to make decisions for us. So if it's something that we don't catch, you know, <laughs> oh, my God, can always tell you're an anti anti series movie. So it's giving teenager who thinks they can interact with adults perfectly. Right. Literally. Oh, Condor, it's it was an artist who they were selling these on TikTok and on Instagram. I have no like idea what their account two is. Years ago. And I don't think they make them anymore, but it's really fun. Phoebe loves it. But even then, yeah, some, sometimes people get accidentally banned. It does happen. <laughs> However, you don't get to be shitty to our mods, otherwise you're not allowed to be here. Yeah, no that's the other stupid. thing, is it's like, it's my channel, my rules. If I wanted to ban, who's talking right now? If I wanted to ban Monty because, I don't know, someone sent me a screenshot of Monty leaving, like, a weird comment on somebody else's thing, like, I could do that. We and probably like, wouldn't. We probably wouldn't because that's a lot of effort. But, like, <laughs> I don't, it's my channel, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Bad math comments. <laughs> Oh my god. But anyway, like, you know, like, I don't know. It's giving an evil version of Jenna Marbles, I'm a Virgo. Oh my Simply god. Simply don't be bad at math and then you won't get banned, Monty. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's your space, you don't owe people explanations on why. Well, yeah, we, uh, we did respond and basically said, like, you broke, here's the rules that are on Twitch, here's the ones that you broke in the 24 hours you were a part of our stream community. Yeah. <laughs> and then they said, like, oh, sorry. And then we were like, right, so... They're like, I won't do it again. Yeah, they like, said I won't do it again, and we were like, we're not abandoning you. No. Now, we have, like, banned people based on the very first thing they've said on chat before. That's true. And when you get banned on Twitch, you can, like, appeal it and say, like, hey, like, this is what happened, like, da 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 So we have had people, like, banned and then unbanned because we misread what they were saying. And when that happens, we, as far as I know, I've never had anyone mad at us because no. it's, like, so fair that you're protecting your space. But one time, I was about to say one time someone came in and the first thing they said was a banana emoji. And then we, uh, we banned them. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, well, wait, should we unban them? And we did, and they said, help. <laughs> or no, we didn't ban them. We were, I was like, uh, what's going on with the banana emoji? And then it's all people in chat being like, hmm, hmm, what's that about? Because obviously it could mean something else. And then the person said, help, I just like bananas and the Muppets. <laughs> and his name was Robert. Their name was Robert. Can I paint the peach this color? I have peach skin. Oh, sorry. Yes. Sure, sure. What are these bottom leaves? Darker? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, well, I've got they, yeah, they just said, help, I love bananas and the Muppets. And then they stayed the rest of the... Um, the rest of the thing. Oh my god, I forgot about McDonald's gays. They did get banned. Banana Bob. Rip. They haven't been back since. The banana guy? <laughs> yes, bananas don't deserve this level of suspicion. Shout out to Robert. Robert, if you see this, we miss you. Yeah, I hope you're having a good day, Robert. Yeah, we had somebody come from, um... Rob fighting for his life to love bananas, his right to love bananas. Literally. We Go had ahead. Some, we had somebody come from a Facebook ad. Can we talk about that now? I don't know. I mean, they already said that the contract was broken. Tell them. All right. I don't know. Do you think we'll actually get in trouble? I don't think so. I don't see why we would. I think we're allowed to talk about it now because we're not, like, in the program yeah, the for it anymore. The so I think it's broken. fine. I guess we're going to sign the NDA. I guess I'll just talk about it vaguely. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, McDonald's came out. We just... There, it's not even like we. I mean, like we signed stuff with them. We didn't sign an NDA. They were basically like, "Don't talk about this," because they said we couldn't talk about it till it was over. Some people are in the beta. Some people are not. We don't want it to like seem unfair, basically. But Twitch was like, "Hey, we'll do Facebook ads for y'all, 
And they never responded to me anytime I sent them any messages. Cause I asked them at the end, like, what was this for? Like, is this something you'll be charging folks for in the future? Like what's going on? I do feel like it, it did help. Cause our average was like 160 for a while. Yeah. It was and, really and spicy. Now it's back to being like right at a hundred, which is fine. I mean like, that's cool. But anyway, it was really strange, but it, we just kept on getting weird people from Facebook ads and Facebook is a terrible place. So it was this one ad literally, I think of me talking about having locked in a toilet with no toilet paper locked in a toilet yeah in a bathroom with no toilet paper in a mcdonald's but so people would come in from those ads yeah yeah it was yeah yeah i know no and facebook's fucking stressful so anyway when we were like hey there's gonna be weird shit happening for the next couple of weeks and we kind of like warned y'all that was why and we told mods obviously um Facebook oh derogatory so good. for fucking real but anyways I was playing like cult of blame and chatting and so one person came in and they said something that like I couldn't tell the vibe was and then they said something like that Facebook ad was really good and I didn't trust them and so I was like I'm gay are you cool <laughs> and they're like oh oh yeah <laughs> I was like cool and everybody in chat was like beeper I'm gay are you cool and they were they were cool yeah so it was fine Facebook person identified Oh my god. Facebook is a terrible place. Listen, Facebook Marketplace is where I live. That's true. I That's where we've gotten most of our cool stuff. And I love it, but it is also a hellscape. Oh my god, it's a hellscape. Because I'll say, hello, is this available? The other thing is people will be like, if it's off here, it's available. And I'm like... That's not always the case. No, me. not everybody. I don't know you personally, Rhonda. Yeah. It is the funniest, the funnest place to scroll. Oh. PDX Marketplace is a wild difference from everywhere else. It's because the people in Portland know what they have. So they'll be like, mid-century modern couch. Gotten from an estate sale years ago. Only ever had one owner. $562. We do not have an elevator in our building. And I'll be like, I'm not paying that. What do you mean? I'm not paying that to then walk it down the stairs. I've gotten only two times where fake profiles ask for my number. Marketplace in blank, real breaking news. Uh, yes, people listing things for free but saying they want 400 for it. Exactly. Drama. Why would they do that? Who do they think is looking through the free things on Facebook Marketplace that has $400? That's not yeah, happening. that's not what's happening. No. What are the blueberry, because they just have like one center thing, right? No. They, yeah. It's like three different things. There's like a lightest blueberry, which is what I put on first. There's a dark no, no, shade. No, sorry, the leaf. And then the there's leaf. like a medium. It's just, oh. just like one strand. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Look at the picture. Here's the picture, the phone. Will you pull it up for me? No. Because I think this could be a good color for that. As I'm using it for a hundred. And hello, Lumpy Spacebug. Love your name. Oh Thank God, you. Oh my God, hi. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Hold on. Oh no. Kago. Yeah, just yeah, like, like that one center dark one, basically. Shade. You want it on the edge, you don't want the center line? I want both. Okay, so I guess I'll do the. Hold on. A quick math test. Um, people say mirrors on, mirrors on Marketplace. Yes. I bought a microwave on Facebook Marketplace and the person made me meet them at their storage unit. <gasps> That's so weird. I always have people come here because we have a ring camera. <laughs> so if someone was going to be stressful, we would have them on. Is it Robert? Uh, what are the, I don't know what the words are. I can what? do math, I swear. You can be the cash. I mean the rubber band. You can do the men. I'm the people who's who. Who's the drink and take who. And who's the drink and take who's who. And who's the drink and take who. That's the words to me. To me, those are the words. Okay, is this looking fine? Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Do you see how I gasped when you weren't even scared? I was scared. No, you were. You were brave. Because the rubber band holds the money together. Oh. Simlish. Oh, did you guys see that Jake Wesley Rogers recorded um, one of his songs in Simlish as an ad for Sims 4? I love that for him. Yeah, that's really fun. Rubber band makes more sense with cash than rubber band. I don't know anybody who rubber bands their money together. That's something they do in movies. Give me a banana. I'll be the rubber man. The Robert man. 
My money is digital. All of my money is digital. Tell them about the collapse of the bank, Morgan. No. Please. Y'all have money? People who have enough cash to rubber band it together. Sugar dealers. Uh. Mm. What is Pierre? So Jeanette said, Morgan, have you learned the lyrics to Pierre yet? Who's Pierre? My money is not. Oh, is it that song you keep singing that you don't know the words to? I don't, you're gonna have to be more specific. Pierre from Stardew Valley. Found me a lover who can play the bass. No, I don't know the long story. Sing, so. sing it to them. No, I won't sing it. No. You can't tell me what to do. This is my show. I'm I'm the entertainer, the star of the show. Who's Pierre and can they fight? My back is so itchy. Um, we played while we were painting this morning. We played the Stardew Valley soundtrack because we were going to be talking over it anyway, so it didn't really matter what we were playing. And then we got to like the second to last song on the playlist, and I had never heard it in my life. And both Phoebe and I stopped whatever we were talking about to go. What part of Stardew Valley? I'm realizing now it's got to be Mr. Like, um... It sounded like a game. Is there special music that plays... Plays. That plays, uh... During, like, Junimo Park or anything? Yeah. I don't know, maybe. If he can pick up the bass, then maybe I won't find. I can... The Stardew Valley mods, I can pickpocket. I can marry a mom. What do you get if you pickpocket somebody? <gasps> oh my gosh! Thanks for the raid! Queerly B, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome. We're painting a mural. Sorry. Thanks so much. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Thank you. We're we're painting a mural. We're working on to make us have a fun time in our house because we live here. It's a fruit wall for fruits. We are a couple of goofs. We do uh, we do like a lot of Stardew Valley. Right now, I'm in the middle of playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Um, we do a lot of. Chatting silly canvas streams. A lot of chatting and canvas streams. But hello! What were y'all playing? What were you doing? I promise we normally have a much more fun setup than this. Right now we're streaming from the iPad. Coral Island? No. I've never played it. That's the Hive cool. is a really cute name. iPad baby stream. Yes. Yeah, raid alert that doesn't exist right now. Cute overlay art that isn't happening. Normally we have a really cute overlay and a really cute little Muppet song that oh, plays. Oh, sing the Muppet song. Oh, I don't remember it now. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Is us singing it like that? <gasps> Hello, thank you, B. That's so sweet. Oh, were y'all doing? Were y'all streaming with it? Gets better today or no? Just regular streaming. We do, we, we stream, we are streamers, that's what we do. What were y'all playing? Wow, organic sound alerts. <laughs> we also don't have any of our, um, we have it on Sunday, so I had it on my mind. Ah, I love that. For the hearty bones and sleep, thank you, Mother Blanker. Love your name. Um, that is fun. Yeah, we stream with, it gets, I can't talk today. We don't stream with It Gets Better. We did. Oh, we did? No. We yeah, have. we did like a fundraising stream for we them. We have done fundraising streams for them. We've done TikTok stuff for them more Yeah, recently. I would say yeah. Right now we're on their TikTok creator fund Maybe. grouped. Grouped? Fund grouped. Not, don't listen to me. I've been painting for days. That's true. My name is Morgan and my pronouns are she, her. Must be fruits on the brain. My name's Phoebe, my pronouns are they, then. If you'd like to share your name and your pronouns in the chat, you can. You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, I'm not on my tippy toes. Everyone look at my feet. They can't see your feet. Well, turn so they can see it. It's literally not my tippy toes at all. It's just... No, but you're sideways, Phoebe. Yeah. That's not... No. Do you see... Hold on. How can I can I flip the camera on this How thing? How else am I supposed to be? No one gets scared. I'm picking. I'm really afraid that you're gonna turn you up. I'm the iPad baby, and you're the iPad. <gasps> I can flip it around. Careful. Look at look at that. This is actually better than you were standing. I'm, no, this is exactly how I was standing. You silly, silly woman. Seven said not beeper encouraging feet content again. Oh my god, sorry. POV on the iPad. Oh yeah, I showed them my foot while you were in the bathroom. Please stop showing your feet to people. 
against their will. It was in a sock. Those shoes on a ladder? Interesting. I don't have any shoes with traction. Yeah. All I have is little old lesbian shoes. No, people keep, whoa. Phoebe keeps thrifting old lady shoes. They're the perfect shoes. No, but they don't have any traction because the old ladies have worn them well, down. Well, they support my feet. I've had foot stream. It's exactly what the Raiders want. Welcome to stream. I'm so here. sorry. Phoebe says that I think if we go to Disneyland beforehand, you're going to have to buy a nice pair of shoes. Oh, my God. And sometimes we're watching TikToks and giggle about which one of us is more of it at the moment. Okay, Toasty, I love that your names are Toasty and B. That's really cute. Yeah, that's super cute. Have you guys considered um, simply becoming little woodland creatures, mayhaps? Stream directed by Tarantino. The drama. Get out. Oh, because of the feet. Yes. <laughs> because of the feet and probably because I'm like this. So you're saying it was violent. <laughs> Can you guys see the mural? What, what else does he look do? At my, look at my mural. I'm going to write myself into a movie just so I can say things that no person should say. My name's Quentin Tarantino. I love to say slurs. I look like this. I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> New Balance shoes go with Costco socks. Have you considered Crocs? Phoebe doesn't have any Crocs. No. You should. Uh, I don't know. Why are you being so sensual in my ear right now? Just smooching on you. Um, I have one pair of Crocs. They're Disney Crocs, and I love them. We keep trying to get Crocs to hire us. Yeah, I email them, like, once every three months. Tell me... Tell me you wouldn't love to see us in a Crocs advertisement. A Crocs commercial, if you will. A Crocs commercial. <laughs> I want the like fun little summery ones that have gone viral on TikTok, the like strappy ones so badly. Um, but thank you, thank you. I want them so badly. Uh, but the girlies who were like, I will never wear Crocs, they're so ugly, have sold them out. And I feel like people who have always stood behind Crocs should have gotten first dibs. I agree. I also really want some lavender ones. My mom has a vendetta against Crocs still. She's one of those hot girls. What if you just called Crocs up and asked for a partnership? Do you think they should make a Croc couch? And they should give us the Croc couch. And then we'd have a couch that matches our new wall. The crouch. Hey. The crotch. Oh, the crotch. <laughs> Not the crotch. Okay, hang on, I have to plug in. What's this bottom thing that's plugged in? Oh, the projector? I don't know. Oh, it must be. Can you Hello, be small? it's me. And plug it in. You want me to be small? Yeah, oh, no, I of, see. Because of my knees. Oh, I, yeah, drink your water, friends. Not a couch with holes. I do want a couch with gibbets. That's fun. Is this the power? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Oh, my fucking fuck. Hey, be Sorry. Careful, no. Holy shit, okay. The croc couch would double as a fidget toy. gets electrocuted on stream. Okay. All right. That was scary. Oh, it was. The thing, the thing moved on its own. Oh, don't do that. Like a little ghost pushed it. Did I just paint this? Maybe. Yes, I did. Let me put my couch in sports mode. His <laughs> gibbet's digging into my butt for the aesthetic. All wheel drive. <laughs> Goodbye, Noah. Well, thanks Hello. For hanging Welcome. Out. I don't think we have ghosts in the house. Our house isn't level, though. Well, the people who used to live here are dead now. So. Just one of them. No, I think both of them. I don't think you both of them. Oh, okay. Could be both of them. Hmm. They'll be like, why are you painting fruits on my wall? Yeah, they had some offensive decor up here previously. They really did. We won't get into that. No. They decorated in ways that white people certainly shouldn't. Yeah. That's for sure. I mean, if you have a cat, it's kind of like having a ghost. Well, we don't have a cat. Okay, I'm, I'm putting your ladder safer in mode. What? 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 Do you see how this is like this? Oh, I do see that. Oh my god, that was scary. Well, someone pointed out heard. how unsafe it was. I thought you were going to push me off. Why did everyone say, oh no? Oh no what? About the racist people? Oh, probably. I See, that's a problem. I forget what we're talking about. I did save their life. 
Why is everybody saying it? I have <laughs> seen that inner dialogue. Beeper not using ladder safely again. No, no. Exactly. I'm good at the ladder, and it's not my fault that I fell the first time. It is. No. It is, and your wife laughing is because you were you were your own. Hey, you stop smacking him. Problems. I reject that. They fell yesterday. Could be the catch. Could be the rubber band. Sing the dance. Gravity has an out for Beeper. Literally. It's a bummer. <laughs> the museum might need a little updating. That doesn't surprise me, Anne. Museums often need a little update. I have OSHA on speed dial. <laughs> Listen, our new ladder, we're going to have to give a name. He's cute. He's orange. Agree, museum employee. <laughs> Thankfully, it's moving location soon, and they're redoing a lot and leaving some exhibits behind. Nice. Clementine. Um, the excitement I felt when I read y'all were in Florida, but actually you managed to escape. Yeah. We haven't been in Florida in th three years. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't miss it. I miss being able to go to Disney World whenever I wanted. But well, even th that was because we worked there. Yeah, that was because we worked there. But it wasn't whenever we wanted either. That's true. Yeah. It was only when we were allowed. My ex used to refuse to work with me because my use of ladder stressed him out. Lad, short for ladder. <laughs> hey, I see you're switching up. What? What are you doing now? I'm getting the light part of my... Did you want to turn? Painting? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it's only 15 minutes till we... Well, 10 minutes till we have to go upstairs. So do you want the last turn paint? Mm, no, I guess you can finish. Okay. Well, it's your call. It could be the cat. I'm in a rimmer, man. I'm trying toe socks for the first time, and this is an experience. Oh, I hate that. Who made you do that, friend? I'm 6'1 and scared of heights. Do you know how hard my life is? I loved toe socks, like, when I was, like, in middle school, because it was, like, hard to find, you know what I mean? Like, toe socks were, like, a rarity. Toe socks are a crime against the autism community. <laughs> I kind of, I do like them, but like they're too hard to find, and so I don't have any. They said, what if we constrict you more? Would you love that? No, thank you. You love to wear socks. You like your Costco socks. Uh, yeah, I don't love toe socks. No, but you said that like you hate all socks. No, toe socks are a crime. I know. I, I will not, you, yeah. Could <laughs> you be the toe socks? Toe shoes? Mm -hmm. Ugh. I have seen toe shoes. Scared. I'm scared of that. I don't know, Seven. I don't know what that means. I thought they misspelled biased. And I was like, I guess it's biased. I had toe shoes in elementary school. That's so mean to your little, little tiny you, baby. Were you allowed to wear toe shoes to... We are <laughs> welcome. We're talking about toes. You were allowed to wear toe shoes to elementary school? They had, like, really specific rules about what you were allowed to wear at school. You, yeah, baby, you had, uh, we were allowed to wear whatever shoes we wanted to because we didn't have uniforms. You could wear flip-flops? Yeah. I don't think you should be allowed to. I mean, certain days you weren't supposed to if you had, like, PE or other stuff. We weren't allowed to wear flip-flops. Yeah, we had to wear, they had to be tennis shoes, and they couldn't have, like, um, Again, lights. You, you had, you had uniforms. Well, yeah, but I even the even the schools in Florida that didn't have uniforms, they weren't allowed to wear flip flops I for sure. I don't think so. Similar to how you're not supposed to wear them to Disney World, they're unsafe. I love you. How do you know? Who, what children did you talk to in Florida? My cousins. Oh, oh, okay. And they did not have uniforms. Correct. Huh. Um, we had a bunch of dress code rules, and I went to public school. Yeah, even places that don't have uniforms, they typically have like dress code. No, we have dress code rules, but you were allowed to wear flip flops. Isn't there really expensive Balenciaga? Heels with toes? No. Ooh. Yeah, no flip flops for school. Big no. My high school with uniforms, it was penny loafers or Sperry's. Now, yeah, when I went to uh, private school the one year that I went, you had to wear Oxfords. Like, everybody had to have the same shoes. That's weird. But that was, like, serious uniforms. You had to buy them from the school. Thank you. Thanks. It's coming along. We couldn't wear slippers. Oh, yeah, could you wear slippers? No, you can wear slippers. 
Well, then I don't know why you're acting like it's ridiculous. Slippers are indoor. They're not to wear outside at all. You That's should be the true. designated safety officer. I should not, Monty. And they were the worst. I can't imagine. Why would they design them? We can wear whatever shoes, including flops. Phoebe gets get docks for official shoes. That's true. Yeah, where are your docks? Uh, Phoebe's had the same doc since their feet haven't grown since they were like twelve. Yeah, well, I was fourteen, but yeah. Flip flops were a no, but slippers were fine. That's weird. Yeah, you definitely weren't allowed to wear slippers in my school. K through eight just had plain black shoes. Yeah, I guess they I'm were just confused because in places that are hot, it seems like they should let you wear flip flops. No, they're really dangerous. You're saying that like they have guns in them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like shit, like. You could, uh, like, for the school to be liable. It's the same reason you're not supposed to wear them at Disney World. Okay, all right. It's the reason in the rules it says you can't wear flip-flops, so that if you hurt yourself while you're wearing flip-flops at Disney World, they'll go right here in the rules that you agreed to. Okay, so this looks like blood, but it's just pain. There. Yeah, but you're not supposed to wear them there. Oh, my God. Flawless, flawless, black than anticipated. They're dangerous because they might make children fall off a ladder, like, deeper. No, no, no. I'm grown, I do a good job. I've seen a flip-flop injury occur. Yeah, they're also, like, they can break in the middle of the day, and then you don't have shoes all day. No, I mean, that's true, for sure. I don't know, it just seems seems like a little intense to me when you live in a hot place. You know shoe safety and can put the ladder in safety mode. No, but they are, really. I'm surprised. Did you wear flip-flops to school, though? Me? Yeah. If it was really hot, yeah. They are a trip hazard. They're a trip hazard, and what if you were holding scissors and then you tripped at school while wearing your flip-flops and then you stabbed yourself in the head? Well, you're not supposed to move fast while wearing scissors. Okay, but you don't have to move fast to trip. That's true. Well, only Some people slow. trip more when walking slow. <laughs> flip-flops are scary to drive in. Wearing scissors. Yeah, can you wear scissors as shoes? Are those dangerous? I cannot believe you guys. In actuality, in our in our uniforms, you were definitely supposed to only wear tennis shoes that were like basically neutral colors. But like, rarely did anyone get in trouble for their shoes, just because like shoes are like eighty dollars, you know. So you might only have one or two pair. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Be like, fuck you, your shoes can't be yellow. In theory, it's like you you know give the school shoe rules to the parents at the beginning of summer so they have all summer to buy shoes. No, I hate that. But I don't know anyone who ever got in trouble for their shoes. Ooh, to uniforms. I drive barefoot all the time. Lawbreakers. Here in Scotland, the concept of wearing flip-flops out and abouts is nuts unless it's peak summer. I don't miss uh, flip-flops that much. I did okay. wear them a lot when I was younger. But now, I will say, personally, I hate them. You could not pay me to wear a flip-flop. My school took every opportunity to write us up. They did that with everything except shoes, I would say. And honestly, maybe even kids who went to my school do have some shoe stories. They were really big about, obviously, short skirts. And then, because we have uniforms, uh, my middle school especially, it was absolutely bonkers. I have no idea why they wrote it like this. I still don't know. But it was uh, khaki pants is like what you could wear. You could either wear, um, if you were a girl, you could wear um, skirts, which you had to buy only from this one place in downtown Mobile. Well, Midtown, really. Um, and they had to be like a certain length, obviously. Or if you wanted to wear pants, both boys and girls, they had to be single stitch pants. Um, and that was the rule. So like on the side of your pants, you know how if you're looking at like the out seam, if you're looking at jeans, probably have double stitch. I wish that I was on the thing, like on, on the big people. computer where I could show people. But like, it's literally exactly what it sounds like. So like, here, can you see it on my shirt? So like, see how this is like one stitch line? Your, your pants had to look like this. And um, one of the reasons, if not the only reason, is because at the time, Hollister and Abercrombie were very popular and all of their tan pants had double stitch lines So instead of it being like this one line, it was like two and it was like part of their look Well, and like slacks typically are like the single stitch ones. Yeah, right? slacks are single stitch usually but like jeans I mean you can't wear jeans anyway because they had to be khaki but like jeans have like a double stitch and I knew a lot of people who got sent home because their pants had double stitches on them. That's so dramatic. 
And it's like, how is that? Why are you looking that close at children's legs? I don't know. It's creepy shit. Yeah, you had to get them straight from the school's uniform seller. Exactly. So if you were plus size like me, you literally could not find pants that weren't double stitch. Because most places at the time, because they were trying to look like Abercrombie and Hollister, like were making them double stitch. And so you literally had to go online and search. By the time my youngest brother was in middle school, like my mom and several other parents were so fed up with it because it was so hard to find that they were like, we're going to stop sending them to school if you don't change this rule. <laughs> and so they eventually changed it, but it was also like our uniforms were like, um, so it was khaki pants. And then if you were in sixth grade, you wore a like butter yellow polo. If you were in seventh grade, I think their color was gray. And if you were in eighth grade, it was navy blue. So like each grade. Oh, they're like different school colors? Um, no. <laughs> Why did they give them gray then? That's a terrible Gray thing. wasn't one of them. Yellow and blue were the school's colors. But gray was just the other one. I don't know. They should have picked white. But anyway, the other thing that was so fucked up about that is like that means every year your parents are buying essentially brand new uniforms. Yeah. No, that sucks. For no reason and they couldn't have any emblem on them so you couldn't buy them from um american eagle you couldn't buy them from hollister you couldn't buy them you had to buy them from the uniform seller or you could like try to find a place online i would literally them. just seam rip that shit right like i don't know it's probably harder than it looks i'm sure but like that's so annoying I love wearing the pants, and anytime I get cold enough, you better believe I was watching that thermo thermometer closely to justify it. My high school, after I left, um, abolished skirts. Everyone has to wear pants now. Um, because they had so much trouble with skirts being too short. And I was like, um, okay. All right. <coughs> Dress code stuff is so wild to me because no one I knew in school got dress coded, but everyone else had so many stories. I've only gotten sent home twice, and both of them were on um, Spirit Week. And they were like, you're too spirited. You're too out of uniform. So they sent me home. What? Even though other people were, like, completely out of uniform. Also, it was Spirit Week. Yeah. So I got sent home. One of them, I was, like not wearing my um so you could have whatever top you wanted like shirt you wanted but you had to still have your uniform pants um and what i wanted was like uh white tights i was dressed as lady gaga for blue and white um day because that was our school colors um in high school and so i had this like lady gaga like onesie from her like um first album like thing but i had like a tank top underneath i wasn't like showing skin or anything um, and then white tights underneath, and they were like, they weren't like white, they were leggings, they weren't tights, I guess. And then I had my skirt over that. Um, but I took my skirt off during band, I think. So I was like basically in like a little like onesie type thing with um, like white leggings over it. And they came to band practice and they told me that I couldn't, that I was too inappropriate to be at band practice. And so I wasn't allowed to like finish rehearsal. And then the other time, I don't remember, but it was also during Spirit Week. That's so ridiculous. Yeah. The, sk the petite skinny girls at school kept getting written up for skirts that were too short when the uniform company was scaling the length of the skirt to the, oh to the waist god. size. Exactly. Oh my god. That's I never knew cool. anyone plus size who got sent home for a short skirt. And I did know girls who like rolled their skirts to like b14 and like you know entering puberty or whatever um but more than anything most people i knew who got sent home it was literally just the sides of the skirt that's just what it was so from an all-girls school no one wanted to deal with the sports though oh listen yeah like they're doing it on purpose or something no really they did attempt to ban leggings my junior year of high school, but no one listened and none of the teachers coded anyone, so they let it go. Yeah. I feel like one very specific thing about being 14 is that, like, in my head as a child, me, myself, I was like, I'm going to look so sexy in my little skirt. You know what I mean? And that's not a thing. And it like, is how obviously you, it's how you, you can't, feel. It, oh, exactly. But, like, you can't, and you can't wear too short of skirts at school. You just shouldn't because, like, 
it's that's just something is gonna happen to you. Like it's gonna get it caught also, on something. I was like, gonna say after safe, working at Disney like, World, I genuinely think of it as a dangerous activity. I, I feel like I'd be very comfortable telling like if we had a kiddo who wanted to wear really short skirts to school, I'd be very comfortable being like, no, I'm so sorry, and like here are these reasons why. You know what I mean? But like definitely, yeah. No, definitely. I'm realizing now I'm not principal to associate that. Listen, yeah. you gotta pick your battles, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, Um, but yeah. In my junior high, the tall girls got dress coded daily, even though their skirt length was up the code. Yes! Or I knew girls who, I knew a girl who was super tall, and she literally, she was thin, but she was really tall, and she got in trouble all the time, and teachers talked about her as if she was, like, slutty. That's ridiculous. And she literally wasn't. Like, she was a very, like, I mean, like, in... I'm not judging the you can't activities. Be slutty at that time. Uh, I'm not judging the activities of a 15 year old, but this girl is like very not that. <laughs> I would not want my thighs to touch a plastic school chair. Uh, no, I love oh sports. God, no. But yeah, okay. It is dinner time, everyone. Unfortunately. Okay, we love you though. We love you. I don't know. We're, so tomorrow's our first day of afternoon Saturday stream. So tomorrow's stream will be at 1 30. Um, we will still be painting. We will probably still be painting. But yeah. Thanks. We love you. We'll see you soon. We'll probably see you here again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.